So let's split this in half by yeah. the NASDAQ. And that was the 25th of April for anyone at home. Oh, what did I say? <laughs> no, you said 25th. Oh. 25th of April, just for anyone who's wondering. Yeah, 25th of April. So we have the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 futures. So we had a pre-market high on the NASDAQ futures right here. Right? We moved lower. And then later in the day, we broke above that high and started to look like we were holding above it. Mm -hmm. Right? This was exactly what the NASDAQ was doing. At that same exact time, we had an S&P that had that high, moved back lower, right? Moved back higher and rejected an equal high here like that, mm -hmm. right? And so when you spot this, right, this can be very dangerous and very difficult to trade, right? Because the question mark here is, does the NASDAQ hold, right? And bring the S&P with it? Yes. Or does the NASDAQ fail back under, right? Fake. Because of the S&P failing. Yeah. Exactly. And so, so typically when you see in a situation like this where the NASDAQ's above a high and the S&P is below it, some would call that a bearish SMT, right? So this is a really good sign of, okay, NAS ES is rejecting that high, mm -hmm. NASDAQ's above it. We do not have a reason to long the market yet here yeah. because of this discrepancy. Mm -hmm. And I did make the mistake, full transparency, of longing the QQQ because of this retest. Mm -hmm. I slipped up. I didn't spot that, right? And that was my own mistake. But this is where going back into my trades, right? Putting them in trade Zella and seeing that was like, okay, this was a bad mistake.